Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I got another white paper review here for you. It is Mecha World. This is a game that's come, brought to you by the FGL team. Uh, we did a review of one of their other games, Cosmic Clash, uh, about a week, week and a half ago. Uh, this team has been around since 2007. They started out doing uh, web-based applications, and then uh, they did some phone apps, iOS apps, and now they are turning their focus on NFT played earn style games. Cosmic Clash has been a huge success. Mecha World is the one that we're going to cover here today. Um, this is one is did, already did one pack drop, and it's going to be doing a second pack drop here on May 4th, which is tomorrow. What's going to happen shortly after the second pack drop is they're going to do their game launch, allowing you to st obviously start playing and using these cards. So this, this team is established. This team has a good track record. Um, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and, and bring you this, uh, at least a walkthrough. This is probably one of two parts to this walkthrough. Today we'll focus on the basics. Uh, letting you know just kind of what the game stands for see if the, this pack drop is coming here tomorrow is right for you and then once the game actually launches we'll go ahead and do a full gameplay review so you can actually see it in the works and actually how it works it's kind of like we did with uh, the cosmic clash before we jump into the the review i want to go ahead and do the normal disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice please make your own decisions do your own research and figure out what's best for your situation don't just listen to me because i said it on a video all right, let's go ahead and go in there now that we got that out of the way. This is uh, another arena-style battle game um, similar to Cosmic Clash, but also adds the quest element. So there's two different parts of this. It's not just a, a strictly a, an arena leaderboard-style game. This actually has quests. This actually has, you can go out there and you can find parts or get parts out of packs or off the secondary market and upgrade your mecha, which currently is a, a dog style. Um, a little bit of history or a little bit of storyline behind this game is basically uh, humans were on Earth that are using up all the resources, uh, basically started running out of resources. And some of the first kind of animals to go or, or organic life form to go were dogs. And so what they did was instead of they're basically missing the companionship. So they started creating mechanical dogs, which quickly started turning into war dogs. Uh, and as the, 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 the everything, all the resources on the planet started continuing to wear out, all organic life ceased to exist. And these mechanics or mechs uh, now take over the world. And that's why there's these battles because they're already built to, for war. Now they're going to have to battle against each other to essentially take control of this planet. That's the storyline behind it. Um, let's go ahead and start diving in. You can already see like the graphics are super cool in this. Um, sliding down here, as I mentioned, you got the mechas. Those are the dogs. And they did mention down the road that they're going to be doing additional styles of mechas, uh, not just the dogs. So there's going to be different styles, different parts. It's, it's going to develop into a much bigger game. Um, in addition, as I mentioned, there are parts that go along with it. Uh, these can be added, and we'll go into that in a little more detail once we get in the white papers, added to add additional benefits, uh, skills, and, and just overall stats. Uh, the land, there's also land ownership in this game. Um, land ownership you can use and you can build onto it, which allows you to uh, upgrade your mechas and you can also service it or provide it to other people for a fee similar to a lot of other games where you get some sort of fee passive income through the land environment and a little bit of a hint on this one it is not too late to get land they have a special pack uh this is the sale that's going on tomorrow one of the packs does come with land it's expensive you keep that in mind so it's probably more of a whale pack uh, but you still have the ability to get land or you can go ahead and get it off the secondary market. This is just a quick look at what a, a normal or a basic standard mecha looks like. And this is a fully decked out all the parts type of mecha. Uh, and then as I mentioned, there's questing. We'll get into that a little bit further here in a second. Battling, this is PVP battling. Uh, and let me quick, before I jump too far, I wanted to show the 
the roadmap and then we'll go ahead over to the white paper itself. As I mentioned, they already did one first pack drop, which was here, which was just a few weeks ago. Um, tomorrow is the next pack drop. And then shortly after that, it could be a few days, I, I forget the exact date off the top of my head, they are going to go live with the game so you can start playing shortly after uh, you open your pact. They're going to have additional battle systems, a different arenas, uh, more mecha body styles, new lands to explore. So they do have a lot more coming this year. Uh, a lot of it's going to be based off this mecha uh, battling, questing type of, type of atmosphere. Let's go ahead and jump over the white paper. Um, this is the white paper itself. There are a number of game place things that I'm going to skip over. And the only reason I'm going to skip over them is because I mentioned I'm going to do a second part to this video. Uh, I'll, I'll try and highlight the important parts so you can kind of get an idea of, of what's going on. Um, I already went through the backstory. I'm not going to cover too much of that. The main token in this game is similar to Cosmic Clash. It is the FGL token. This token is going to be used over a number of different games. The two I just mentioned, there's also another uh, Nifty Fish, I think it's called, a third game that there's going to be coming out near the end of the year, also going to use the same token. I love when series of games use the same token. Taco is doing the same thing. Um, it, it keeps the value of the token. So you're not just, there, there's so many different uses for the token. So it, it doesn't get overwhelmed or overinflated. Uh, so I, I really like that aspect of this, how they're using the same token in multiple games. Basically, it's going to help you out and keep the value of your token. All right. And then you also have a, the chance of getting NFTs in this game, which you don't in the Cosmic Clash. Uh, this is the basic structure or the, the loop of the game. Basically, up here, as a player, you have the choice of battling or questing. If you battle, you need to pay a fee. Uh, but when you win, you get FGL tokens. Those FGL tokens can be used to level your mecha and battle some more. You also have the choice of questing. When you quest, you earn FGL tokens and a small chance at finding parts. And we'll talk about those percentages here in a second. Uh, with your FGL tokens, you use the, that to pay workshop fees in combination with your parts to upgrade your mecha and then go all the right around again. And the more upgraded and the higher level your mech is, the better results you have, the better things you'll find, the easier it'll be to find things. And it's just a big cycle. So let's go ahead. Just a few other things, as I mentioned, uh, what can you buy? Uh, I'm not gonna go through this. It's basically with the FGL token, you can go through, pay for your fees, you can buy buildings, you can pay for battling. Uh, with wax on the secondary market, you buy parts, mecha, mecha land that's all basic secondary parts you can even buy the the fgl token on the outcar market and then when you're battling and questing you're in the xp the fgl token and a chance of nfts and like you've seen from my other videos if there's a chance you can find an nfts i like that that's a that's a cool addition all right uh as far as the questing standpoint and this is where we're in the game place so i'm going to go through this pretty quickly there are three types of quests there's a 15 minute quest an hour and a half quest and a four hour quest each one's going to give you different results, also going to cost you different things. Uh, the short ones are going to be basically one cost, and it's you're going to wear out uh, one part as you're going through that. You'll get XP, you'll have a chance of getting a 50% chance of getting a small amount of token, and a teeny tiny t <laughs> uh, a chance of getting the NFTs, and so forth as you go through each of the, the types of questing. As you raise your level, that does increase. Your chance of getting NFTs increases with your leveling. All right, energy is used. I'm not gonna go through the details of that. Um, again, the FDL token is gonna be your, your main item through here. Battles is the other side of the house. Battles is a little bit different because it's more of a dice style game. And depending on the level and depending on the, the number of mechas and their parts, uh, will determine how many dice you actually use. Uh, they, they show a little, picture here if you're, if you're familiar with uh, like the old school Dungeons and Dragons or some dice games like that that have multiple die depending on the level um, there basically what you roll you have up to 12 I think it's 12 uh, they're showing 12 here but these are the different abilities depending on what you roll uh, and then I'm going to scroll down just a little bit further this w determines how many dice you roll what kind of dice it is that you roll uh, it starts from level 1 to 25, you use one dice at 4, so you really only have the chance of getting these top 4 skills from a rally to stab, 
but as you go up to level 86 to 99, you get six dice all the way up to, to 12, which gives you the ability to go all the way down here to poison and so forth. So it's a very dice specific game. Um, I like the fact that it does open up. You don't automatically have all the skills day one. As you level up, as you get different parts, as you go through that whole process, you get stronger and you have the ability, basically more dice you have, the higher uh, sided dice that you have, the, the more powerful your, your mechas are in battle. Upgrading is another thing. As you go through the upgrades, uh, I showed you this this uh, during the, the questing above. You get all the way up to level 99, then you're going to have a much better chance. It's not automatic. It's not guaranteed. But you run enough battles and, and quests, you you're have a much better chance of doing it. Um, and this just shows the, the XP yield. The other thing I wanted to show you was uh, down here just a little bit. The parts, you can go through those details as far as uh, the different styles of parts. There's a whole table. I'm, I'm not going to go through that with you all. Um, I'm scrolling down just a little bit. This is this is basically the mecha body. This is basic, standard, straight out of the pack mecha. Um, you, it shows two different visual things. You have up to, technically up to seven. Six are going to be available day one. Seven components total, including the mouth weapon. Um, each weapon is going to give you different benefits. Uh, but also shows on your card differently. Like I said, this is a standard one. These are the different potential parts that you can get. And then you put it all together and it looks pretty cool. It looks, I'd run and <laughs> run away from this uh, mech if I saw it in a dark alley. So I'd probably run away from this one if I saw it in a dark alley too, just pretty fierce. All right, um, one last thing I wanted to show you, as I mentioned, the lands. You, on the lands, you have the ability, it's just like any other land, they come with different rarities. Uh, and then also you have the ability to build on these lands um, from arenas to uh, other buildings. I think there's a workshop, yeah, there's a workshop. And the one thing I wanted to note that is buildings do decay over time, I think a 30 day span it says here. So you have to do an upkeep of your buildings, otherwise they will be demolished and you'll need to go get new buildings. So it's another unique touch uh, that also adds to the burning mechanism, which we all love burning mechanisms. All right, let me talk a little bit about uh, the, the drop that's happening tomorrow now that we've gone through the basics. I, I First of all, before we jump to this, I, I hope you all enjoy that. If, if you do, if you think this is a game that looks neat, uh, comment down below and let me know what are the kind of key, the key areas that, that you find the most interesting. For me, I, I love the leveling. Uh, obviously, finding NFTs is great. Um, and just adding parts and upgrading uh, your mech is it's not just a simple leaderboard style game like Cosmic Clashes. It's a, it's a you're actually putting, you, you, you can customize and you can build these mechas uh, the way that you want to build them. All right. So in tomorrow's sale, there's actually going to be four different packs. There is the small starter pack. There's the medium starter pack, large starter pack, and then you got the owner's pack. Um, you can see down here, it shows you the different number of them. Uh, if you go over to Discord, I'll have a link in the, in the description down below to go to Discord. In the announcements, they have a link to this so you can take a deeper look into it. Each one's gonna come with uh, uh, different items. I'm just gonna show you a few examples here. This one basically comes with three random mechas plus a random part. So it gives you the percentage down here, that's the small. If you go to medium, it's going to give you four mechas with two parts that you can go ahead and add. And large is going to be 10 mechas with four random parts. Obviously, the more mechas you have, the more parts you have, the better off you're, you're most likely going to be starting out the game. And then last but not least is the owner's pack. This is the, the, the big one. comes with a land, which is going to be huge down the road. Uh, eight mechas. Then it also has the, the parts, and it also shows, I, I believe, the, the rarity is a little bit better, um, but at least it gives you plenty of mechas to start with. And then again, the land is, is going to be huge going forward. Uh, the prices, you can take a look at the prices. They are based on wax, so it's not based on the money or USD. Uh, which we know the price has been fluctuating quite a bit, so this actually works out for you. That's that's based on wax instead of USD. Um, so you can take a look. If it's a game that you like, you can either go ahead and try and pick it up during the sale tomorrow. The sale one sold out and sold out pretty quickly. 
whatever packs don't sell in the certain time frame that they have established, uh, then they will go ahead and be burned. So it's not like they're going to sit on the market for a long period of time. Uh, just a quick heads up, this is, again, this is going to be May 4th, the sale. You see it's four days down here. I am recording this a little bit early. So you'll probably be seeing this, this video drop the day before. So keep that in mind. May 4th uh, is, is when the sale is going to happen. All right. I hope you all enjoy this. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you. Bye.